So do you remember that time when you landed on a planet semi-ruled over by an insane, neurotic, egomaniac, and then got roped into a battle for the future of the world? Yeah, me neither. Now all I remember from Borderlands 2 is a lot of explosions, a lot of cool guns, and a whole lot of death. Now, who here played Borderlands 2 for the story? Anyone? Put your hands down. Just because you know what the story was does not mean that that's why you played it. So why do we play it? Is it for the social aspect of a four-player co-op experience? Is it to collect the coolest gun? Well, yeah. But no. Borderlands as a series feeds the dark beast inside us that no one wants to admit lives in, well, everyone. The beast that craves chaos and lust for power. Now, when I say dark beast that no one wants to admit is there, just think about it for a moment. Would you rather watch someone build a house for the next six months, or blow up a hotel in six seconds flat? In a high stakes action movie, do you want to watch the villain go on trial and end up in prison? Or do you want to watch him die in a spectacular fashion? and then end the movie there. When you get angry, do you want to hug it out or just punch something? We're all good people, definitely, but there's still that part of us that loves the chaos and dark things of the world. Now, I don't say this to make you feel guilty or evil, but there's a reason that when you play Minecraft, there are people in the game that just want to make TNT and blow the world up. I am getting sidetracked. Borderlands 2. Now, I started playing Borderlands 2 for social interaction while the world was on fire in 2020. And for the most part, that's why I still play it. But I found myself one day stopping and asking, why do I play this game? It's fun to jump on with friends to hang out, but why this game? There are plenty of other online co-op games. Now there are some cool guns to collect and farm for, but why do we want those guns? What makes them so special? While playing with friends and getting cool guns are great reasons to play, there's still that deeper question of why? And beyond that, Borderlands 2 is not a perfect game. Put down your pitchforks. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it's not perfect. It is a great game. It's fantastic, and I love playing it. I personally was not sold on the story. I found the level grind to be quite vexing, and the travel system is a little too tedious for my liking. I mean, the entire story can be boiled down to go here, then go there, shoot a thing, go here, shoot another thing, go there, kill the boss. That's it. So why do we keep playing it? Well, for the moments where Borderlands shines the most, Glorious Combat. With a variety of characters and skill tree branches, combat is absolutely insane! It's rarely boring as you get new weapons to experiment with, new skills to incorporate, all with your band of equally insane cohorts. The combat is the reason I played through the game three times. Because I love what the game gives me the more I play it. Pure chaos and ultimate power. So many times my friends and I would be trying to level up not to get more health or make the enemies easier to kill, but to be able to use that crazy elemental weapon that we just got, or to get that one skill that's going to make us an unkillable god. Or a god of killing, depending on how you look at it. With ultimate power comes ultimate chaos. We didn't just want things to die, we wanted them to explode. We wanted them to die faster, with more flair, or just more often. 
the game sucks you in with this allure of power and rewards you for your creativity in causing chaos. Different skills synergize together better than others, and in the end, you have your ultimate build. Bandits are dying left and right, nothing can touch you, let alone kill you. Bosses die in seconds, you've created chaos incarnate. And when you're done, well, you can just scrap that character and power level a different one to test out their chaotic skills and powers. And after you've done that for all the various classes, well, odds are you put more time into the game than you care to admit. All because you wanted to see a symphony of carnage. Now, why you play a particular game may not be a big priority to many people. And there's no fault in that. The truth is that at the end of the day, why we play a game is because we enjoy it. Because we get something out of it. But you might be surprised what that reveals about yourself when you look a little beyond that surface level to see why you enjoyed in the first place. Sometimes it's the art style or the world. And sometimes it's just because you get to blow up robots and bandits with reckless abandon and a shotgun. Thank you all for joining me and listening to the Lullaby of the Sea as we explored why we play Borderlands 2. Let me know down in the comments why you enjoy playing this game. It's all part of the journey as we continue to delve into the ether.